Hello everybody and welcome to a fun adventure we're going to be doing. We are going to be flying the entirety of Southwest's um, route, like the extent of their route from east to west. Uh, so we're starting here in San Juan, Puerto Rico, uh, the beautiful tropical island. And we'll be ending in uh, Lihue, Hawaii. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Uh, we will be ending in Hawaii, their furthest west destination. San Juan is their furthest east. So uh, we are limited by the actual destinations that Southwest travels, as well as the only way you can actually fly to them. So I actually went to Southwest's website, typed in um, San Juan to La Jolla, and uh, turns out you can't actually fly between them uh, via Southwest's website, at least on the consumer side of things. So I went, did some digging, and uh, connected airports together, and that's the path that we're going to follow. Um, so uh, we're going to start out here in San Juan, and we're going to go to Fort Lauderdale. Uh, we'll fly from Fort Lauderdale to Denver, and then we'll take the plane from Denver to Oakland, and then Oakland to Honolulu, and finally Honolulu to La Jolla, um, where we will... Uh, end our journey. So it's five flights. We're going to cross the entire United States. Uh, we are in a Boeing 737-800, the Southwest flagship, and I am rolling with the old colors because why not? It sounds like fun. So uh, we are going to create our flight plan. So um, we are going to uh, depart to the north. And once we get in the air, we'll put our flight plan in. So, let's do that. We're going to turn our lights on. Okay. I should put the seatbelt sign on. We would like to take this opportunity to welcome you aboard our flight, ladies and gentlemen. The captain has turned Forgot off to shut the doors. seatbelt sign, indicating that we are now at cruising Whoops. altitude. You are what? free to move about as necessary. However, we do ask that when you are seated, you keep your seatbelt comfortably fastened for your safety and that of those about you. Where's my overhead panel? Yeah, I just turned the sign. It'll be our pleasure. All right, we'll just ignore that. All righty, looks like I'm going to my right. Uh, oh. oh, I'm actually going behind me. Okay. Well. That didn't go particularly well. All right, well, we're gonna turn to our left and try to turn this thing around. I thought this was going to be a fun little flight simulator challenge. We're going to crisscross the entire, basically we're going to crisscross almost the entire northern hemisphere, or north and western hemisphere, if you will, um, in this workhorse of a plane. And I thought it'd be a fun little challenge. So it is actually, what time is it? It is 6.25 in the morning sim time. And uh, we are going to see how far we can go. We are going to be uh, 
restricted by, you know, union rules and whatnot, so we can only fly like eight hours or something like that. Um, what should get us to Denver, I think. Either that or I'm just going to split this up by legs. I haven't really decided yet. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. All right, we have reached our runway for takeoff. Let's contact the tower. Okay. Half throttle. Spool them up. And let's punch it. Eighty knots. Expecting the commentary. That's okay. V1. V1. Rotate. That's our call. V2. And we are off the ground. So what we're doing is we are flying from San Juan. Okay. And we are going to FLL. Oh, I got to have the KFLL. Uh, let's do high altitude airways by IFR. Find the route. We're going to be flying at 30. We'll just do 33. What the heck? Um, okay, save, we're not going to go, and Okay, 8600. It's kind of an odd altitude. And our heading is 310. Going too fast.
going to set our speed to 330 because I always overspeed in this plane. set on course and then we will start making our way uh, to Fort Lauderdale. So if you are expecting this to be like a full-on simulation, you know, following all procedures and everything like that, uh, I hate to disappoint you, it is not going to be that way. I am not a professional pilot, nor do I claim to be, I just know how to get a plane on and off the ground without crashing, I think. Uh, so uh, we are going to have fun with this, there's the airport we just left from, and there's the beautiful island of Puerto Rico as we make our way towards the mainland United States. Like I said, I have no shame using uh, simulation rate increases because we don't have all day. Beautiful city of San Juan as it flies by, getting into some low clouds. turn our heading 310 and then we'll start programming in the nav. Beacons. And I just realized I did not put in the right flight number um, as to what you see on the stream, uh, the overlay. Uh, that's what the flight number is supposed to be and that's the uh, amount of miles that we are traveling to Hawaii direct. So that's the significance of that. Uh, so I will fix that when I get to Fort Lauderdale. I just forgot to do it in the airplane select tab. on course. We switched over to GPS. We're not using navigation radio beacons. Uh, we are using GPS for our navigation and so we just hit the little nav button and it should keep us on course as we pass through all of our um, navigation points. We 
are still increasing altitude. We have not reached cruising altitude yet. For some reason we were not increasing our height enough. Sometimes the vertical speed doesn't set correctly. Okay, the navigation automatically twists us in the right direction. that out for you. You can see how we're getting there. Just basically flying straight across. It's about 900 something nautical miles. See another island there off to the distance. It looks like Hispaniola. Yep, it is. See that off to the distance. We got another little island chain behind us. cruising altitude and we're pretty much just long for the ride at this point so why don't we take a more cinematic view
Alrighty, we are beginning our descent into Fort Lauderdale. Uh, 260. Hopefully, you enjoyed that nice little time lapse. Oops, we're starting to go too quick. Okay. Uh, let's put that back where it belongs. Bigger so we can see. Okay. So yes, we have just come over the Bahamas. Um, actually, they're off to our right, I believe. And we are probably about 20 minutes out, I'm guessing. So we're going to slow down just a wee bit. And we'll await further instructions. Beginning our descent now, we're going down to 26,000 feet. You can actually see the coast of Florida there straight in front of us on the horizon. We're coming off this barrier island here, where ZBV is. You can see it on the uh, GPS. Five. Select the switch. Whoa, there we go. Descend and maintain 18. Descend and maintain up with the sim there, that's okay. So we're gonna take our um GPS and we're going to make it tell us how to get to Fort Lauderdale. So we are 11 minutes out. Okay. Oh, we probably should turn our seatbelt side on. Just a little bit more, I'm guessing. I forgot to change to the center. Miami Center, Southwest, Southwest, seven two five. Miami Center, Roger. Miami Center, American Tip, Southwest, seven two five. Descend and maintain six. American 
6,000. About 10,000 feet. Give me about five minutes. American, turn one eight five. Turn right, heading turn one five. Turn right, heading two one five. American, two one eight five. American, turn one eight five. Turn left, heading one eight five. Okay, so we're not bleeding off enough speed. I had a feeling our GPS wasn't working properly. about to hit our approach altitude. Let's see what the next instruction is going to be. Can't quite see the airport yet. Maybe with our sim vision our unrealistically high zoomable distance there's an airport right over there
Okay, I see where our approach is. Let's contact the tower. ship port and I think that's our airport right there. Down there is Miami. Okay, we just got to make our approach vector. 2500. Okay, so we just passed through 2500. We got 500 feet to go. Uh, we're going to head 290 right now. We're also going to slow way down. Flaps on a little bit, slow us down. So there's our runway, right there. Yeah, it's the one on the right. Whoa. All right, so our runway is that one right there. Uh, I keep trying to get my pointer to work, and it's not. So. indicators on. Let's make sure that is armed. Coming in a little bit to the right, let's disable our heading. And I'm gonna try to get on the runway. I am not using ILS because I don't know how to use it. Pull up. 
Come on. Oh, shoot. 30, we missed. 20, 10. All right. Come on. Reverse. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Oh, wow. Okay. We made it. Pull off the runway now. But real quickly before we do that, I want to take a replay of that. That was uh, quite the landing. One thousand. Can't get the camera to focus. There we go. 400, 300, 200, 100, 50, 40, 40, 30, 20, 10, 10. That actually wasn't the worst landing I've ever done. That wasn't the worst landing I've ever done. It wasn't very good, but it could, it could have been much worse. We've got ourselves a parking spot. Pretty uneventful flight, if I do say so myself, except for the landing, of course. Uh, not the best landing in the world, but hey, we could have done worse. All right, looks like we got ourselves a nice little parking spot here. It looks like we'll be next to an old AirTran Airways um, plane. I haven't really updated my traffic in like 10 years. Contact tower on 120.2 when ready. Taxi, hold short 
Alrighty. We have arrived. Welcome to Fort Lauderdale. I don't think we have a jetway for some reason. Alrighty, let's tick some stuff here. Uh, Alrighty, uh, tick that one off, that one off, all these. that shut down everything shut down alrighty alright so as we sit waiting for our fuel I think I'm pretty close to touching wing tips we sit waiting for our fuel uh, second leg of this trip is from Fort Lauderdale to Denver. Uh, just with the timing of this video, I'm going to just divide it up by stop. So we're going to stop right here. This is um, our entire southwest flight extent from east to west. Um, signing off here in beautiful Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Uh, we'll see you in the next flight when we uh, bounce our way out to Denver. So until then, have a wonderful day wherever you are, and we'll see you in the next one.